This week will mark one year since the shooting death of Ahmad Arbery. Three men have been arrested for murder and killing the 25 year old. They are currently in jail in Glynn County awaiting trial. Video released of Arbery's killing months after it happened sparked outrage around the country. Attorneys for Arbery's family said the video showed how the 25 year old was followed by two white men, Gregory and Travis McMichael, while he was jogging and then shot. While a third man, William Roddy Bryan, recorded the whole ordeal. McMichaels, the McMichaels rather, have said they became suspicious of Arbery when they saw him go into a home under construction and were trying to make a citizen's arrest when they went after him. No date has been set for their trial. Now a proposed bill with bipartisan support could overhaul Georgia's citizens arrest law. Right now the law allows Georgians to arrest someone they think is committing a crime. But when a prosecutor used it last year to justify not charging three men in the killing of Ahmad Arbery, it was the last straw for many. At the state capitol this week, Governor Brian Kemp said this bill will repeal the original statute, closing loopholes and preventing people from acting as vigilantes. Employees of private businesses and law enforcement officers would still be able to detain someone they believe committed the crime, but they must either contact police within an hour of holding that person or release them. The bill must pass both houses before the governor can sign it.